The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, racing fans, and welcome back to Laurel Park for our fall meet. Friday, September 7th, fast on the main track and firm on the turf course for Friday's 10 race card. 12 races on Saturday and racing again Sunday, racing Friday through Sunday through the month of September for the Laurel Park fall meet. On Saturday afternoon, $2 dogs and drafts here at Laurel Park. On Saturday, September 8th, for opening weekend, $2 hot dogs and select draft beer on Saturday afternoon here at Laurel Park. Also, our Smokehouse on the Apron will be cooking up all of your barbecue favorites. It'll be a big day on Saturday with 12 exciting races at Laurel Park. And, of course, earlier in the month of September, our Fall Festival of Racing featuring the Express Bet, Frank J. DeFrancis Memorial Dash, and six other stakes as well. All the details, information at laurelpark.com for our fall meet. Let's get right to the action from Friday afternoon under the uh, partly cloudy skies for the opener with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms a little later in the day. Decent weather, the rain's held off. The forecast was for heavy rain on Friday, but no, look at the fast main track and the firm turf course as we begin our action one mile on that lawn, the bowl game turf for the opener. And they're off. Golden Nuguez in talking out for the early advantage and a good break for Scaramucci, the favorite, and Megabucks on the far outside, making four almost in a line, followed up by Yowza, Yowza, Yowza. Gray Granite going to drift very wide as the gray into the first turn, run a little tough to handle there. And the happy giant saving ground on the turn run, the keeper back of the pack with hard away, and Corrupt is the last runner. 16 or 17 lengths from first to last at 24.36 opening quarter mile. Set up top by Golden Nuguez leading three quarters of a length from Scaramucci. Mega Bucks is third and Pep Talking is fourth. Yowza, Yowza, Yowza is in fifth position in between horses. Gray Granite on the far outside has settled down just a bit. The happy giant, the keeper, now is seven to come on the pace and it's corrupt to the back of the pack with Hardaway. Now only about 11 or 12 lengths first to last. 49.80 is the half mile. Heading into the far turn. Golden Nuguez just that head in front from Scaramucci and the three wide mega bucks. Gray Granite on the far outside running a big one. Set up there from fourth and Pep Talking is in fifth. Yowza, 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 the happy giant. And they're followed by the keeper who lingers some eight off the pace. Top of the stretch. Now they make the turn for home. Mega bucks tries to quick it up on the outside with Scaramucci. Mega bucks and Scaramucci and Golden Nuez back in third of the inside and Pep Talking is fourth. The happy giant is fifth of the final furlong. It's mega bucks shifting just a little bit. Scaramucci on the inside. Dead game. And here's yowza, yowza. Yowza, yowza on the far outside. Photo finish coming up. Here's the line. Yowza, yowza, yowza from Megabucks. Then it was Scaramucci and Pep talking. And then the happy giant. And they're off. 
Miss and Maggie bouncing out on top from Better Way doing the, what she likes has now settled the back of the pack. As a matter of fact, has dropped out last. There's Greeley Striker to take over. So Greeley Striker and Miss and Maggie, the outside. In third is Better Way. Dorothy from Dublin is in fourth, and Crooked is in fifth, and doing what she likes is last on the inside. Greeley Striker sets the pace, tucking along three quarters of a length from Miss and Maggie. The gray is Dorothy from Dublin, just ahead of Better Way, who's in fourth. Another two and doing what she likes, and last is crooked opening quarter one in 23.94 heading for the far turn run about four and a half furlongs to run it is Greeley striker and neck in front from miss and maggie dorothy from dublin is on the chase from third and doing what she likes is in fourth and better way and crooked on the outside better way now drops out to last Greeley striker and a 47.31 half mile midpoint on that turn opens up two and a half three lengths dorothy from dublin miss and maggie doing what she likes driving on the inside still a lot to do now has seven or eight to make up with more than a quarter of a mile to go. It is Greeley Stryker who turns in with a solid lead from Dorothy from Dublin by five. Doing what she likes then, Miss and Maggie in crooked. It's Greeley Stryker the target with Johan Rosado and they're still going strong from Dorothy from Dublin on the outside doing what she likes in the last furlong. Greeley Stryker six on top doing what she likes second. Just taking second for Dorothy from Dublin. A 16th to go. Greeley Stryker doing what she likes. Revving up on the outside. As Greeley Stryker looks for that second line finish, doing what she likes on the outside, doing what she likes, got it, doing what she likes in the photo with Greeley Stryker. And they're off. Egbert fast away, quickly joined by many blessings up to take the lead. Magoo and the outside early speed, and now splitting horses, Princess Kilmaine. Princess Kilmaine, now the speed of the speed from Magoo in the second spot, and right up here early, the far outside in third. Many blessings is back in the fourth spot, and a straight out on the side. They're racing in fifth. Mischievous Star is next in six as they head on to the far turn run. And then Egbert's between horses, now seven from the front, and shall try. And they're followed by Lunetta and Storm Diva. Inside, when all else fails, is trailing the field. Pace makes Princess Kilmaine leads the way to the top of the lane. Astria and right up your alley, second and third. Right up your alley is the one widest in the red cap. Into the stretch, quarter of a mile left to go. And Princess Kilmaine attempts to hang on in her drive. Two and a half lengths in front from Astria in second. And it's right up your alley, middle of the track in third. Wide open scramble for fourth. Coming through inside is Shell. Try for a long left to go. And here's right up your alley and heavy on Toledo. Right up your alley, Astria from in between horses. When all else fails, charging through and opening on the inside, getting through. And so when all else fails, here's the line. When all else fails, and right up your alley, photo together at the second wire finish. Right up your alley.
and they're off. Hot Treasure and Rhythm and Rab and Rosie's Rainbow early zip two while three deep. Bridgewater is in fourth. Sarah's Treasure is in fifth position. Only three and a half or four from the front at Ridgemont High. Racing off the inside is last of them all. So Rhythm and Rap shows the way. Just at a moderate clip out there from Rosie's Rainbow in second. And Hot Treasure is in third. And Bridgewater kept close fourth on the inside. And Sarah's Treasure is in fifth position as they pass the half mile pole in Ridgemont High. The opening quarter went in 23.35 into the far turn run where the one to catch is rhythm and rap and rosie's rainbow ratcheting up the pressure and sarah's treasure getting closer ridden along in third position hot trees is in between horses bridgewater waits on the inside another five lengths back on entering mont high top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile to go half mile in 46.83 making the turn for home and it's rosie's rainbow and rhythm and rap digging on the inside rhythm and rap has come back for more sarah's treasure just at an even clip has to do better and now bridgewater who's been Seeking racing room finds daylight in between horses charging the pink blinkers. Rhythm and rap and Bridgewater coming. Rhythm and rap and Bridgewater. Rhythm and rap and Toledo with a double from Bridgewater second. Then it was Rosie's Rainbow and Hot Freesia, Sarah's Treasure. Lined up. And they're off. Roby's Boy and Grande Flora, also special intention, early speed. There goes Align the Numbers on the outside to join two. At the rail is special intention ahead in front, and Align the Numbers on the outside. Mixing up in between is more abundance right there. Sheik or Sheiks is tracking the lead in fourth position, then Roby's Boy fifth, Grande Flora sixth. Limehouse Lee on the inside, some kind of magician led the two path, and My Enigma trailing the field as they round that far turn. Dual head-to-head -head special intention and Align the Numbers. A Sheik of Sheiks is looming up well three wide. And more abundance looking good. Tracking the leaders now. Length and a half from the front as they make the turn for home. Special intention on the outside. Shake of shakes and more abundance set down in between horses for that final furlong and a half. Roby's boy fifth and Limehouse Louie is in sixth in the last eighth of a mile. Shake of shakes. Shake of shakes on the outside. Shake of shakes and more abundance. And there's Shake of shakes and Rosario Montanez taking off for a big final furlong. Shake of shakes opening up with each and every stride to win by five, maybe a little more at the end. More abundance than Roby's boy. Special intention, Limehouse Louie. the gate and they're off
Renaissance Rosie and DJ's favorite with Phantom shot up close to the rail. In fourth position now is Goals Night Out, and if I was the boy, is trailing the field. And DJ's favorite has grabbed the narrow lead with Renaissance Rosie keeping up with her on the outside. Length and a half, and Goals Night Out and Phantom shot fourth, and now drops to mid pack another two and a half. If I was the boy, will watch the speed from six off that lead with four furlongs left to go. It's DJ's favorite, Renaissance Rosie, counterattacks on the outside at 22.55, opening quarter mile. In the meantime, Goals Night Out is in third, and Phantom shot is in fourth if I was a boy ridden along in last position but Renaissance Rosie continues sparkling fractions out there leads it here comes Phantom shot from in between horses splitting ghouls night out and the tired DJ's favorite and last if I was a boy half mile 45.75 turning for home Renaissance Rosie two and a half in front from Phantom shot and ghouls night out DJ's favorite and if I was a boy with a furlong left to go Renaissance Rosie she's all class Renaissance Rosie leads it by two lengths from Phantom shot and Renaissance Rosie and Aaron Walker, Renaissance Rosie, dazzling the win with a 14th lifetime score. Phantom Shot was second, Ghoul's Night Out was third, and DJ's favorite. They're in line. And they're off. Good night, Moon to the inside. Gato Saint Honore, Wolverett, and Tapanista all in a line together. And now Wolverett will settle back and forth. Next in between horses is Tidy Stripe in fifth. And Real Tenor is in sixth. And Hey Mabel is in South Carolina. And last is Patient Lass, who's last down some 13 off that pace out ahead is Tapanista. Shows the way into the first turn, going uncontested a length and a half from Gato St. Honore and Goodnight Moon. A three wide Tidy Stripe and a four deep Real Tenor. Wolverette is patient, only four from the front, but the pace is slow. 24.01 was the opening two furlongs. Set by Tapanista as Real Tenor has moved to second on the outside. Goodnight Moon is in third. And the Greg Gato St. Honore in fourth and tidy stripe in fifth. Wolverette is now six, has dropped six from the front. Hey, Mabel is followed by South Carolina and Patient Lass on the inside trying to improve from the back of the pack. Half mile and 48.65. So it is Tapanista in front. Tapanista nursed on the lead from Real Tenor second. Good night, Moon. Got those St. Honores in between rivals and tidy stripe on the outside. Wolverette just in behind that second group of runners. Hey, Mabel has a little bit of run there, then followed by Patient Lass. And last is South Carolina taking over is Real Tenor. Real Tenor now a neck in front from Tampanista. And Gato St. Honore is in third. Good night, Moon is fourth. Wolverette still waiting for a bit of racing room and the tip off heels and coming to the outside with a final furlong and a half where Real Tenor is a narrow lead. Tampanista. Good night, Moon in between horses has daylight to run. And here's Good night, Moon just in front now from Real Tenor. The outside there is Wolverette trying to gain a bit of ground very late in the game and Gato St. Honore. It's Good night, Moon and Trevor McCarthy from Wolverette. Then Real Tenor, maybe Hey Mabel, the Gato Saint Honore, and Tapanista.
and they're off. For the rail in him with him. Good early speed. Wildly clever is right there with Haynes Seaver pitching in too. The far outside, JJ's Candy's up close. And now leading the way is Haynes Fever. So Haynes Fever and in him with him. Exit the shoot with a the lead there. One, two. Blame the kids. Up between horses is in third. And JJ's Candy is in fourth. Wildly clever fifth. Two more lengths. Here's Paco is in six. And Bob's my uncle. And $10 Hammer is the last runner. Nine lengths from front to back. Haynes Fever shows the way. And Haynes Fever in a 24 point opening quarter in him with him on the inside now drops back a little bit blame the kids a second now and here's Paco's on the outside out on the clear in third in him with him is back and forth wildly clever fifth JJ's candies dropped to the back of the pack at this point and ten dollar hammers the one widest of them all four deep and Bob's my uncle trailing the field Haynes fever now in front in him with him drops off the scene blame the kids still in between horses and here's Paco so there's three in a line after a 47.77 half mile midpoint on that turn Haynes fever working hard blame the kids gets the head in front here's Paco is driven in third ten dollar hammer on the far outside and JJ's candy is very wide into the stretch and they turn for home with a quarter of a mile left to go and it's blame the kids from Haynes fever in him with him's off the inside trying to come back for a little more but just at an even clip and they're through the final furlong now blame the kids and Haynes fever in a head-to-head -head battle on the inside Haynes fever is coming up for a little more blame the kids just to the upper hand a 16th of a mile to go blame the kids and Ronaldo Boca Chica blame the kids and Haynes Fever in him with him and Bob's my uncle going to make it close for third. And they're off. Darcy May was the first to break away with Theodora B and Bell Rue with early speed in between them. Ramon is sempre forte on the outside, racing up close in fourth. And Lunar Rill has settled back in fifth in the far outside there. Mutabai is in between horses along with Holiday Hopes now on the two path has improved just a little bit. Shift from Magician a little tight down to the inside there. And followed by a proud O'Patty who's worked over to the rail saving ground. And Lunar Rill second last position and fed up, fired up in the back. Nine lengths will cover the field, the opening quarter 24. 4.57, and they're led by Bell Rue. A sensible pace, three quarters of a length from Darcy May in second. A length and a half more, and Theodora B's on the outside. Schiffer Magician at the rail, and Holiday Hopes in between horses. Ramani Sempre Forte and Muta Bahia. They're racing side by side, and they're about a half dozen lengths of the solo runner up front now. It's Bell Rue. Bell Rue, Darcy May still 1 2 after a 49.19 comfortable half mile. Schiffer Magician. The outside is Theodora B, and they're followed between by Holiday Hopes working a little bit harder now. Another two back in the field, and Muta Bahia is next, and fed up, fired up on the outside of Muta Bahia. Proud of Patty's lingering to the back of the pack. Third last position, Ramana Semper Fortes dropped to the back of the pack with Luna Rill as well. But in the meantime, Bell Rue after six and one, 13.50, appears to have plenty of run. Turns for home here at Laurel with a four, five length lead on Dorsey May in second, and Theodora B to the center of the course in third. And now Bell Rue's asked for a full sprint for the final furlong is giving it under Centeno with a six length advantage. Now the far far outside. Prado Patty's getting interested to try to run up into the exact is closing fast. It's Prado Patty and it's going to be Belru to prevail by two lengths. Prado Patty gave it a good run. Then third was Theodora B. Then Darcy May and Schiffer Magician followed by Fed Up Fired Up.
and they're off. Good break of the outside for Shrove Tuesday, along with That's That Early Speed, and Fort Love is right there, too. So Fort Love going to go on with That's That. That's the pair up front, and Benavita from the inside in third position, Miss Patriot. Hustle forward and forth, and between horses, the Sunrise Bernstini is three wide of the second group of the far outside is Shrove Tuesday, who's widest of them all into the turn run. A Fleet Ferry's dropped over to the two pass, some six, seven lengths on the front. Architect is now past that one, and trailing the field is Stated. Leading the way is Fort Love, leads about a length and a half from That's That in second. Sunrise Bernstein on the outside third. Benavita's in fourth and Miss Patriot out in the clear racing fifth and Shrove Tuesday. They're followed by Architect. A Fleet Ferry is in between horses about a half dozen lengths off the pace up ahead and stated trails the field. The opening quarter went in 23.80. The half in 48.52. So heading for the turn and it's Fort Love and West Hamilton dictating terms three quarters of a length from Sunrise Bernstein and Benavita is in third. Miss Patriot looms on the outside from fourth and that's that is in fifth. Outside is Shrove Tuesday racing sixth position. A Fleet Ferry is seventh. They're between rivals into the turn, and they're followed by Architect back of the pack and stated trailing the field. Fort Love going on with it. Fort Love kicks away under a hand ride. Fort Love by two and a half from Benavita. Then Sunrise Bernstein is next. Into the stretch now, and it's Fort Love set down. Fort Love with a three-length advantage from Benavita in second. Out in the middle of the track, that's that. Trying to rally in that final furlong. It is is Fort Love. Fort Love's made all the running up front. Fort Love is in front and will stay in front. Fort Love. Fort Love and Benavita. Fort Love, Benavita. That's that was third. Then stated fourth and Architect finished fifth. That's a wrap of the 10 race program on Friday afternoon. Join us Saturday here at Laurel Park for 12 exciting races, including $2 hot dogs and $2 select drafts on Saturday afternoon. And our smokehouse on the apron will cook up all of your barbecue favorites, so be sure to come hungry for our 12 race program on Saturday afternoon. Join us throughout the entire fall meet here at Laurel Park, racing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday through September, and we'll go to four days a week later in the fall. All the details at laurelpark.com. Sign up for our week newsletter as well. That's it for the Friday program. We'll see you Saturday racing fans here at Laurel Park.